Welcome back to Safety Matters. I'm Officer Rotella with the Frisco Police Department. And I'm Battalion Chief Jay Kleeper with the Frisco Fire Department. This month, we're highlighting the Fire Prevention Office and inspection practices for new and current businesses. We're also going to be talking about some online apps that every parent should know about. So stick around and find out why safety matters. Did you know that every business in the city of Frisco goes through an inspection process both during construction and after they open for business? To find out what our fire prevention personnel and firefighters are doing at your location, here's more. Now we're in the pump room, the fire pump room of 12 Cowboys Way. What we're here to do now as an inspector is to make sure, verify that those things that were on this set of plans are actually in the facility. This is a fire pump. The fire pump actually supplies additional pressure. We have city pressure that comes in and the fire pump will supplement that to push it on up to the higher, higher floors because all high rise buildings we have to have a fire pump. Over here we have the fire risers. All of the incoming water goes through the fire risers to supply water to the sprinkler system. Okay, here we're in one of the unfinished rooms of the Cowboys Way apartment rooms. And when we come in here as inspectors, what we want to focus in on are the safety features of the room. We'll look over here, if you look over here, there's a smoke detector. The smoke detectors have to be in each of the rooms. They're interconnected so that if one goes off, the other goes off as well. And you, if you notice the proximity to the ceiling, smoke detectors aren't allowed to be within a certain inches of the ceiling. Then you have the sprinkler. The sprinkler. Actually, a lot of people believe that if one goes off, they all go off, but only one head usually goes off during a time of a fire. Sprinklers are used for containment, and so it allows containment of the fire so that people can escape. If you come this way, here in the bedrooms, if you take a look up at the ceiling here, the ceiling fan, we want to make sure that the ceiling fan isn't too close to, say, a smoke detector that's here on the wall, or too close to the sprinkler head. Because what happens is, the sprinklers, they work off an accumulation of heat. If you have the heat being diffused by, say, the ceiling fan or either a vent, then it will delay the sprinkler head from going off. And if you also take a look at that smoke detector, same thing there. It, you're too close to a sprinkler head or an air diffuser, then it delays the smoke detector as well. So we want to make sure that we take a look at these things to, to provide the upper level of safety so that if there is a fire situation, that the people are able to get out relatively safe. Online safety is very important in today's day and age. Here are some apps that every parent should know about that their kids may be using. Here's Officer Grant Cottingham to tell us some more. Hey parents, this is Officer Grant Cottingham, the Frisco Police Department Community Services Unit. Today we want to talk to you about the apps that are on your child's phone. Have you had the tough conversation with them about making sure that their privacy is protected, that they're not sharing their location with strangers, and that they're not receiving explicit content? With all the applications that are out there, did you know you can set the privacy settings, specifically the location services, to restrict the information that's shared? Did you know that the pictures that your child is posting may contain critical location information that would allow a stranger to find your house if that's where the pictures were taken. It's important that you look at these privacy settings. If you're not sure where to look, check out the manufacturer's website or ask your cell phone provider. Let's talk about predators. With the amount of technology that's available, predators are finding it easier and easier to access their information and specifically their photos. By pretending to be your child's age, they're earning their trust, exchanging information with them, and exposing them to explicit content. For the most current information, follow the Frisco Police Department on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. That's it for this episode of Safety Matters. So join us again next month as we go behind the scenes once again of Frisco's Fire and Police Department and find out why safety matters.